cancer what is the answer baby what is going on my dears it is me right it is she right it is vibra it is scorpion reds tarot i am back at it again i'm late baby but i'm always great my dear you better know it listen to me we are here to find out what the messages are surrounding you for the month of september 2020 show me the money energy thank you so much for clicking this video shout out to all my og shout out to all my newbies thank you to every last one who has clicked this video and has liked shared and subscribed at any time shout out to everyone who's been booking personal private readings who've been sending these amazing decks in through the amazon wish list we got something really special today i don't pulled out listen i don't pulled out all my gypsy tarot decks y'all we about to get real nasty we about to get real freaky we about to get real rickety raw i got the little dutty nasty i got the little dutty nasty that the dutty nasty deck today listen we about to get into it we about to get into the dirt we about to get into the tea with me yeah yeah okay so listen i hope y'all buckled your seat belts listen come on now go get you a drink baby i'm gonna tell you what is going on i'm gonna tell you what is going on so listen if there's anyone if these videos has resonated for you at any point in time, if you would like to support a book of personal private reading with Scorpion Red Tarot, only thing you need to do is check the description box in this video or click the about tab on my YouTube page. It gets the pricing list and it gives you the information how to contact me. So I only do video readings and I do them on Instagram. So the best way to contact me is to send me a message on Instagram Messenger. So um, my link to my Instagram page is in the about tab. If you do not have Instagram, the best way for us to do the video reading is through Google Hangouts. It's a free app to download. And the only thing that we need to exchange in regards to personal information is our email address. My email address is scorpionrez at gmail.com. So again, if you do not have Instagram Messenger where we can connect and communicate that way, the best way to connect with me is just email me at scorpionrez at gmail.com. And I will help you get all set up at uh, Google Hangouts, okay, for our reading. And we're going to get into the tea, all right? So, um... Again, if you want to support a book, check out the description and check out the about tab. You know, we're going to get into prayer. We're going to give God thanks before we get into anything. So bow your head with me real quick. Father God, Father God, we thank you so much for blessing us this beautiful, beautiful evening. Father God, thank you so much for just coming down in our life and just claiming victory over us and everything that our eyes survey. All right. I'm feeling like the Lion King. Everything that your eyes touch is yours, Father God. We are claiming victory on everything that our eyes surveys and we, you know, hold dear to our heart that we Feel has meaning to us and it has purpose in our life we're really sorting out a lot of things father god because it's certain things that don't have any purpose in this new phase in our life and there's certain things that very much so has a purpose in our life and we want to keep it the thing with a cancer sometimes cancer likes to take those little pinches and has a hard time letting things go you know what i'm saying so it's certain areas and it's certain things that your eyes surveying yes it's within your range but that motherfucker don't know your name that shit ain't got no man got nothing to do with you you understand so certain things we're cutting out and certain things we are letting in father god and we're just so happy we're so abundant and we're so thankful for all of the blessing and the praises that you just shouted over our life father god we're claiming victory over it all and over it all we shall have it so father god thank you so much for a blessing the sign of cancer please give us guidance for the sign of cancer Yes, I'm recording. I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, give us guidance for the sign of cancer for September. Blessings. Amen. All right, let's get into this, you guys, y'all. And y'all forgive me because, listen, I got a house full of children. I got my kids and my nieces. So, y'all have something in the background. Just let it ride, honey. I am a mother. So, I am going to um, put these cards face down. And we're going to get into it. If there's anyone in the chat that would like to put a timestamp for when the actual reading starts, that would be so much greatly appreciated. All right, give me guidance for the sign of cancer. September. Doing right off the top. We're going to do three more shuffles. All right. Cancer, September. All right, last shuffle. Thank you so much. All right. They just, they, they just said something about a num another member. I don't know if you about to 
they're saying exclude another member of the family though because i'm like we about to add another member and they're like no exclude another member of the family wow all right as above so below i'm gonna have to do this like this because i need some space <laughs> is that why y'all excluded someone because i need some space <laughs> I don't want to work it out and I need some space I don't want to hear your mouth I need some space I don't want to work it out I need some space and I don't want to hear your mouth <laughs> listen I just freestyled that I don't know who that was for <laughs> stick it with me cause I need some space I want to work it out. I need some space. And I want to hear you my out. And I need some space. <laughs> Woo! What a son. What a son. You back at that ass up or you swing that ass at Maya. What a son. They said I need some space, honey. You back of that ass up, or is you swinging the Oscar Maya? Which one are you? Are you swinging the Oscar Maya in regards to that goddamn conversation? Or you the one about to back that ass up? Okay, y'all remember that one, Juvenile? The little, the little Chinese man? Are you back of that ass up? Or you swinging the Oscar Maya? Because <laughs> you a hot boy, hot boy on fire. Woo! I'm sorry, I keep wanting to sing that. Shit, why I feel like y'all keep wanting me to sing it again? <laughs> Cause I need some space. <laughs> I don't want to work it out. I need some space. And I don't want to hear your mouth. You don't even want to hear him cause we need some space. <laughs> Whoa. Messy, messy, messy. Well, y'all remember uh what was that um what was that on uh, um I'm seeing a frosty in the snowman. Remember the, the magician? It's a messy, messy, messy. Isn't that what he used to say? Messy. That little sneaky ass magician that was trying to um steal the hat from Frosty. Hey young, oh no, nah, young, cause y'all got me channeling some wild ass shit now. So y'all got some magician? Listen, someone see the magic in you? Alright? Like being messy, messy. Listen, remember that little sneaky ass magician dude? He got on the little train. He was doing everything to mother. Oh, who, who, someone got on the train. Hold on, ride on that train. Hey, you can ride it. Choo -choo. Come on, ride that train. You can ride it. Oh, who was on the train? Come on. It's the choo choo. Hold on, who was on the train? <laughs> Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. chuka 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 chuka. Y'all remember that? Play these downside when we play this game. It's the fucking DJ and yo, we call it the train. Ooh, ooh, messy, messy, messy. Y'all, I don't know who I am chanceling, but I, I feel. <laughs> I'm hearing y'all laughing like shit in my ear. And I know y'all like raise you crazy as shit, but y'all, I swear to God, like, I'm really nervous about what's supposed to come in these cards. Y'all don't tell someone you need some space, okay? You don't want to hit a mouth, you don't want to work it out. I done seen the sneaky magician from Frosty the Snowman. Someone trying to steal your magic, someone trying to steal your life. You said motherfuckers was just trying to be on the train, okay? What? Let's get it to the T. Someone do the timestamp. Listen, whoever skipped past this and, 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 and hit the timestamp, they done fucked up. They done fucked up because the they don't miss the channeling. Let's get into. You ready? Let's get it. All right, you guys. Come on, Cancer. Let's see what the general energy is. Ooh. <laughs> Listen, somebody is not in.
in their emotions no more. Someone is not in their fifis. You see, listen, you already know a cancer is a water sign. So I feel like cancer has really been getting into their emotions. And it's a one monkey don't stop no motherfucking show. I don't know. You, I feel like someone is online, like, embarrassing themselves. And you were sitting there looking at this fool. And you was just in your element. You taking a bath. Like, you was, listen, you were purely in your Lomente, okay, and you was vibing, honey, and you was just like, Thank God I done secluded myself. Listen, because I need some space and I don't want to work it out because I need some space. Listen, he said, I don't even want to hear your mouth. Look at this shit, this dumb motherfucker posting online. That's why I ain't even fucking talking to you, you stupid motherfucker. It's just like, Oh my god, like who is embarrassing their self? And you were so glad that you done got your emotions too and together <laughs> you were so glad that you done got yourself out of this situation cancer i'm trying to tell you i already knew let's see what's going on to clarify this listen you got the knight of swords listen the knight of swords the knight of swords is somebody coming like directly very bluntly with some truth y'all i mean like you said i need some space i don't want to work it out i need some space i don't want to hear your mouth like i don't really I really don't want to include you in my life. Like, where I'm going forward, I just have to make, like, sharp precision. It's like, uh, I'm getting, like, scalpel, like a clean cut. You know, like how someone cuts you with a scalpel? It's just like, a scalpel, it hits you so swift and, and, and sharp and directly where you cut and you don't even realize that you got cut. Like, it didn't even hurt. Like, you it, it's not until like you actually can feel your heart beating because that's when the pain it comes it's like once you kind of feel your heart beating and it's like the every time your heart pumps the blood is coming out and you realize like oh shit i'm bleeding because you didn't even feel it do you understand so it's something where cancer like really swift sharp direct to the point i need some space i don't want to work it out i need some space i don't want to hear your mouth Straight like that. Listen, you are the sneaky little magician from Frosty the Snowman. I already know what you're trying to do. You try, I, like, I, I see you for what you are. Period. You see what I'm saying? Because it's something about that, that Frosty the Snowman um, story. Because I think that that was the magician's hat. But the magician did not know how to utilize this magic. He didn't know what to do with it. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if someone gave you something because they thought it was some trash. They didn't think it had any purpose to it and you repurposed it and like people are upset or something and you just like you a fucking hater like go the fuck on somewhere like didn't you give me this shit you ain't even know how to use it so what the fuck like I don't, I don't know like I, I i feel like someone may be after you because they want something back and it's like i'm not giving you this fucking phone nigga did you say you ain't want the fucking phone like get the fuck off my shit like you you stupid like it's just like whatever it is it's juvenile it's irritating I'm too grown for this shit. Like, okay, so the the Knight of Swords is like someone that's like middle age. Like you are you almost getting up there. It's like I'm mature. I'm still young, but I'm too much I'm too mature for this. Like, please cut this shit out. Cause whatever this person is doing is very immature. It's very juvenile. It's very irritating. <laughs> I'm just not gonna deal with it. Don't give me something and then gonna sit up there mad because I don't repurposed it. Like, get the fuck out of here with that dumb ass shit. Let's see what's going on right here tarot cards guidance so um i really don't try to take these in reverse but i am going to take it in reverse because i feel like you guys already knew with because you got to keep it real the only reason why a lot of you guys come to us readers is because it's like you might have some self-doubt in yourself about a situation and it's just like you need clarification because it's like I've never talked to these people if I could go online and these people I've never spoke to and they're literally reading my life with these cards and they're telling me everything that I was thinking that I should do then that's trying to tell me that I should do it so I feel like at this point you guys are getting to the point where it's like you may come to readers for and only specific readers to only one because it's like something about your life right now. It's like you know the truth. It's like you don't really need no one to tell you your truth. It's just like you just maybe need 
a little bit of clarification you know what i'm saying like you could read your own cards if you wanted to but i don't think that you want to you know what i'm saying it's like you self-identify within your own self or your own intuition i feel like you really i feel like you guys have got to the point where you are kind of like past feeling like you need to rely on um spiritual clarification from tarot card readers is you know what i'm saying if anything you are making actions on your own and you may look back to see what your specific reader says just to clarify if you did the right thing you see what i'm saying you guys are not because there's a difference in group there are groups of people that watch tarot and come to guidance because they don't know what to do and they're looking for the answers to figure out what they should do with their life which I don't necessarily agree with. You know what I'm saying? You should always go with your self-intuition first and then get the clarifying guidance. That's what this group is doing. You understand? So, look, and, and look at this one right there. You see the sword is right there. Listen, this person already knew that they had to use the sword. It's something about... And again, they keep singing this song to me. And I've never heard this song. I just literally made this song up off of a whim. I need some space. I don't want to work it out. It's like... You knew you were going to have to use the sword. I don't, and again, I don't know if you broke up with someone like over the phone or something like that through text message or something. And they're going online making a spectacle out of the situation. And you're like, oh my God, this motherfucker is embarrassing. It's like, I'm so glad I'm so mature. And I just like alleviated myself out of the situation because I really don't want to deal with this and you are immature let's see what's going on below we got the knight of cups listen oh no excuse me that's the page of swords my bad that's the page of swords and this is the Knight of Cups in the reverse. So this even, okay, so let's, okay, so excuse me, because this is a new deck. And again, thank you guys so much for donating the new decks. Um, what is this? This is the Circle of Life Tarot. So again, thank you to every last one of you who donate decks to the Amazon wish list. Thank you so, so much. I love this deck. And right after I ordered this deck online, um, it had got discontinued, but I think it's back now. So whatever. Anyway, so... The page, is, the page of swords is like, again, immature communication. Like I said, whoever this is, is immature shit. It's like, you might have broke up with this person on over the text or something because I don't know if this person is violent because when I get the page of swords, like sometimes I feel like this person is very immature, could be very quick tempered, don't know what to say out of their mouth. Ever they, they can influence you where you may act erratic or they may act erratic and i feel like that's why you broke up with this person on the phone and again here you are looking at them so you could be looking at them online and they're just acting fucking stupid you know what i'm saying and it's like this could even be clarifying exactly what you thought by looking at this read and again with the you know knight of cups in the reverse it's like I don't know if you love someone else or it's like you love yourself more um, with this elderly lady here. I don't know if you're getting some guidance from like your mother, your grandmother, someone who's passed over, who's just telling you like, baby, this one is not the one. This is not something that you should be involved with. Um, you can even be feeling within yourself. Maybe I'm not ready to like be committed right now with the Knight of Cups in the reverse because it's like you may still have a wandering eye or this situation from someone's immaturity could have caused your eye to roam because it's like my heart doesn't feel safe to love here. And, and I really do feel like you're getting some type of ancestral guidance or like some guidance from some auntie. Someone is older than you that's telling you to reject this, that this like love is not true. Love isn't that hard. You know what I'm saying? So this is what I'm getting. It's like trust the guidance and whoever you getting this guidance from. It's telling you to just throw it away. It's it's not. It's this beneath you. You know what I'm saying? And, and I, don't, I don't even feel like the wandering eye came naturally to you. I feel like it's because of someone's inse insecurity, immaturity, and what you've been seeing and what you just don't want to tolerate no more. And it's just like, I just don't even want this love anymore. Listen, the union in the reverse. Like, again, this is like, I'm trying to like, again, the guidance, the tarot cards, it came out in the reverse. It's like, I really didn't need, <laughs> I didn't need to seek guidance from tarot. I didn't need to seek guidance from nobody like i know within my soul like this union was made the fucking hell you know what i'm saying like true love is really not that hard it's 
it's not that hard. And whatever happened in this situation, someone has a wandering eye now because they don't feel safe in this union. They don't feel like whoever in this union is mature enough. They've definitely been looking and possibly spying and been watching what someone is doing. It could be embarrassed by someone's immaturity and someone's actions. Like they could feel someone is too flirty or too flighty or not non-committal based on what they're seeing online that's you know what i'm saying that's what i'm getting let's clarify here we got the full card so this full card means like it can literally mean a fool it's like either you're looking at someone being immature acting like a fool you know what i'm saying like someone may be jumping their self out there too much you know and like i don't know is it like someone posting you a lot online or I feel like someone's like jumping you out there or something like that it's like what the fuck is this idiot doing like you know what I'm saying now I'm getting something else I'm getting I'm getting it's like someone is acting foolishly it's like every day have too much faith in something they're jumping themselves out there too much and is expressing something online prematurely before it was really solidified like this isn't like a I don't want to say this isn't like a sacred union this isn't something that I'm getting two things excuse me <coughs> I'm getting someone who cut someone out of their life because their gut was just telling them this, this isn't the one. This person isn't mature enough for me. And then I'm also getting someone that is in some type of relationship. And whatever. The, I just feel like someone is embarrassing someone online and acting foolishly. And with this um, raven here, or this crow here, in that feather, that's like your faith, your intuition, your spirit. It's like a spirit message like telling you to just move on and travel beyond this go forward like don't stop like don't stop here you know what i'm saying like do you see what this person is doing like do, do you see this what this motherfucker is doing don't stop here like why are you stopping here like look 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 you want to see look don't stop here why are you stopping here <laughs> like you know what i'm saying listen to your own guidance your own guidance knows not to stop here to cut this motherfucker off just make a clean sharp precision you know what i'm saying the full card represents travel, it represents movement, it means like <clears throat> someone knowing there's something better ahead for them and just like, just putting yourself out there, you know what I'm saying, you never know what's out there if you don't move towards it and it's like this person is, <laughs> I, I don't have time, like whatever it is, I just don't have time, listen, the child is in the reverse, so this is like there's non-fulfillment, I'm gonna have to read these cards in the reverse, like I really don't want to, like there's some non-fulfillment here, it's like again, someone is rejecting a the cup, they're pouring something out, it's like I feel someone is being foolish and then at the same time, the person that is realizing that someone is being foolish, like maybe you put too much faith into something too soon without really thoroughly investigating someone to see how they are how they act like if they're mature enough like you didn't really you know what i'm saying and it's like now you might have got something yourself into something like ah, i don't know if i'm totally gonna be happy here mm -hmm. again i just need some space i don't want to work it out like i don't I don't even want to hear your mouth. Like, what? I don't. Like, I, what? <laughs> Let's clarify this. What is this? This is the. <laughs> this is the page of wands in the reverse. So again, this is something that you were excited about in the beginning, but it's like it kind of immediately faded out. It's like this is someone that. You could have got your hopes all up for it and then once you had sex with someone or once you experienced something with someone and once you started something, you realize it really wasn't as moving as you thought it was. It didn't like you could have bought a car and you thought it was like a, a sports car or something, but you could have realized the shit had some type of engine problems or something and it wasn't driving with the momentum that it was sold to you as so someone could have oversold their self or something like that and be like yeah this pussy good this pussy tight this pussy this or this dick good this, 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 you got it and it was like eh. mm. listen
listen, that wasn't all that shit you was talking online, like, girl, and it's like, someone could be looking at someone online, talking about how good they shit is, how this, how wet it is, how big it is, and you looking like this motherfucker, like, boy, you really having it up online, like, no, but that's the reason why I cut you off, because you be online talking to but shit, and you... You be talking too quick, too fast, but you 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 not experienced enough to back it up like that. You know what I'm saying? Like slim out there acting like a fool, and like you can still be just doing too much online. Like you you could be real childish. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, talk a lot of shit, but can't back that shit up with experience or with momentum. You know what I'm saying? Like you, like no, you know what I'm saying? And it's like. Whatever it started, it just ended quickly. That's all I know. It just started and it ended quickly. It was no fulfillment. And someone just wanted to move the fuck on. Just like that, that, that. That's all I know. So let's clarify this here. We got the tower. So the tower is like, this could be someone that you really didn't see coming into your life. Or that you might have known for a while. But you never even thought that you would be dating them or something. I feel like. Or maybe you just didn't expect that you were going to, like, lose passion and emotion and feelings for this person. Like, you know, like, maybe you were listening to some readers in the past and they were saying, like, this isn't going to last. This isn't going to last. And you didn't listen. You're like, I'm going to go with my own guidance or whatever. I'm just going to try it out. Or blah, blah, blah. And it's like, now you see what they were saying. Like, maybe you you were listening to some readings and you didn't think that it applied to you or your situation because it was new was they felt good at first and like now it's like yeah i really didn't expect that to, but that that message was most definitely for me because i'm not fulfilled right now like the, the motherfucker could have came around for a high second and stroked your ego could have got you up off the bench a little bit like you could have been sitting down like not doing much with yourself or whatever like you, you know what i'm saying you wasn't nothing that really had you feeling real driven and shit like that and it's like man Man, that shit got me excited for a hot second. I'm ready to go back in the house. Like, that shit wasn't nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, do you feel what I'm saying? It was like, that shit, they, that was propaganda and, and poppycock lies and shit. Like, whoever that was, they gashed that shit up online. That car didn't drive that fast or that food didn't taste that good or whatever it was. Like, I bought it, but I threw half of that shit in the trash. Like, that shit wasn't, you know what I'm saying? Like, again, like someone looking at somebody boast something boast and brag about someone or not and it's not all of that like bitch i like i cut you out real early so it's like or like i lost emotions and, and maybe i was just trying to figure out how to tell you you know what i'm saying and uh, uh, like this is i i just feel like the sudden change was something that you didn't see happening like maybe you really thought it was going to do something, but it ain't do shit. You know what I'm saying? So what is this? This is the six of fucking spades. So like the six of spades is definitely, this is this, the surgery card. This is the surgery card, literally. And then what is this? This is the mild, the mouse. The mouse denotes loss by theft. If nearby, it denotes recovery after a great difficulty. But if in the distance, the loss would be irrevertible so like the mice and the norman represent literally it represents theft it represents um like gossip you know what i'm saying like people running around creating mischief and malice and just it they carry like disease and filth and you know what i'm saying like uh like this could like you could have been fucking with like a street rat or something like that like Again, like the page of wands, someone that's in and out all over the place, non-committal. You know what I'm saying? Like you could have been dealing with someone and you like, oh no, this is a little rat ass bitch, or this is a little street rat ass nigga or whatever. Like this, 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 this person is dirty, or this person isn't coming to me clean, or you know what I'm saying? Maybe I was ill-advised, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, uh I went against my better judgment. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I should have listened to whatever these people. I should have looked deeper. This this is like literally the death card. So it's like someone cutting someone out of their life. Surgical precision. Like cutting someone deep. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever you said could have cut someone deep. Like you could have told someone like 
You a dirty ass street hoe. Like you filthy. Like bitch, you not about to give me fucking AIDS. You running around out here. You like you too entertained by like okay. The Knight of Cups in the reverse could be someone that will fall in love or entertain anybody that'll bat their eye at them. You see what I'm saying? Like, they in love or they entertain anybody that'll entertain them. And this person could be looking like, this ain't somebody I want to be in. <laughs> I don't want to be with someone like that. Like, shit. Like, I, I thought you was cool. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't, I ain't think you was going to come like this. Oh, no, you a little rat ass hoe. Like, I would never be fulfilled by no rat ass bitch like you. Leave the fuck out of here. You understand what I'm saying? Like, real quick. What is this? Faithfulness and affection in the reverse. So, like, girl, again, like I told you, this is someone dirty. This is someone filthy. This is someone that you feel like would steal your time, would steal your money, um, would steal your lack of work, your desire in them. It could have been something that they did was, you know, like, ugh. And, and it could have just stole the way you looked at them. Like, this person isn't, no, you know what I'm saying? Like, baby, so this is like, the the two of the two of clubs is like negotiations and like so club is like someone that you might want to get into a partnership with this is a work situation this is something where you're trying to like support someone in some way or trying to work something out to see if you guys can collaborate and bring it together do you understand what i'm saying so in the reverse this is basically saying like this might not work or be beneficial to me at the end because this person no, I, I, I don't feel the same way that i felt anymore because i don't see the commitment there so it's no point of me trying to work with this person because clubs represents work that will eventually create diamonds you understand pressure creates diamonds so it's like you could have been put through a test you could have felt like this was a test you know what i'm saying and again look, you see the dog right here so it's like now you're not about to dog me out like you know what i'm saying like if you're not going to be a faithful comp companion and like be committed and baby girl baby girl baby girl calm down okay calm down don't be a set girlfriend i can't do you girl you dirty girl calm down honey Calm down. What is this? Oh, and then it says consistency in the reverse. I cannot make this up, you guys. Like, I can listen. My cards tell no lie, baby. You were inconsistent. You were in and out. You were flighty. You were entertaining anybody that would entertain you, girl. Go on somewhere with yourself. And I really do why? Because I'm keep saying this is a girl. I don't I feel like this is a male, masculine, cancer energy looking at some woman. Like, girl, you are trash, honey. What is going over here? Listen, the page of pinnacles in the reverse. It's like, baby, I'm about to scrap this whole project and start all over. So, listen... You better lay low. Whatever communication that cancer was given to you, baby, it has stopped. Okay? It has stopped, honey. They are not offering no pinnacle. This is bad news. This is rejection. You did not get accepted. You did not get promoted. You could have got fired, honey. Do you understand what I'm saying? So this could be something that is no longer being offered on the table anymore because you like embarrassed yourself you made yourself look like a complete fucking fool and i don't know i want nothing the fuck to do with it i am so sorry about it what is this this is the star cancer said baby baby girl baby girl okay in the beast of my voice i'm the fucking star out here like you must got me 100 fucked up you know what i'm saying like you might not have um no belief in yourself and your capabilities and abilities and stuff baby i am so good out here I wish it. I wish. Listen, how much wood could a wood chuck chuck of a wood chuck could chuck wood? Bitch, you know I got a lot of wood to chuck. Bitch, you got me fucked up. This someone was being there, and I know cancers that are like that. Why y'all just made me say that? Like, I'm sorry. Like, whoever this cancer is, is like, yeah, you already know what the shit hitting on, bitch. Like, you dumb. Bitch, is you dumb? Is you dumb? Okay? Is you dumb? For all oh, remember when I said. Bitch, is you is you is you slinging that Oscar Mayer? Are you backing that ass up? Nah, I'm slinging that back. I'm slinging that Oscar Mayer out here still, cause I'm that star. But you gonna back your ass the fuck up off me? So like this kid, I'm really getting like this is someone that is being rejected by the star. And then look, look, look. You see like how they pouring something back into the pool and pouring some so it's like whatever that was that that person had they don't want that but they got a cup of something else and they're pouring this where they going they throwing that back in there girl listen to me they're starting all over listen the page of pentacles is replanning replanning re-educating yourself it's like man listen let me 
Uh, remind me to <laughs> allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Hove, H to the O V. I used to move slow <laughs> snowflakes by the O Z. And even back then, they would call me H O V Hove, bitch. Even back then, they knew I was that nigga. So, like, don't ever get me fucked up. Like, one thing about a cancer, cancer, it may take them a second to do it, but a cancer that truly knows their worth, like, they will cut you out they will cancer will wall you out and they will put you right back and they will start over it just, it just takes some time you know what i'm saying it's, and, and, and cancers their heart is so you know you know how water signs are sometimes and that's why i feel like this monkey look one monkey don't stop no show you see how they had to sit in their element you know what i'm saying to get their emotions together i feel like cancers is in a hideout moment they are rejecting somebody from their hideout. <laughs> Let's see what this says here. Look, the cauldron. Containment. So it's like you trying to contain your passions. You trying to contain your fire, your energy. I'm trying to tell you, it's like cancer has most definitely realized that star power. They have got their faith. They have got everything that they needed to provide for themselves so they can re-strategize and replan. I feel like they are containing their self in a safe place readjusting their crown understanding who the fuck they are like i think that cancer is like they're keeping their self back they're containing their self from responding to shit um again like i'm trying to tell you this is someone that is like the page of pentacles in reverse represents time and energy and effort so this could mean no time no energy. Do you understand? Like you under like a page is someone like a baby. Most children can't speak. Or they, they, whatever it's like this baby gibberish. You 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 see what I'm saying? So it's like cancer may be talking to you, but it may be shit that you really like. They may be talking circles around you if they're saying anything. Like it may be baby gibberish. You might not understand what the fuck they're saying because they don't want you to understand what the fuck they're saying because they don't want to talk to you. Do you understand? They don't want to talk to you. Period. Period. Fool. They're moving on. It's like they're trying to contain themselves and their energy because they want to put their passions into something that is worthwhile. They have their faith and their intuition is moving them towards something like God. This is a card of God. This is God. You understand? Like God is moving them away from something and is really showing. Listen, the star is, is showing cancer their worth. Like cancer's like, I don't have no problem with rejecting shit that is not worth my, my, my presence anymore. Like I'm containing myself. Like so they might be containing their passion. Like they might not be having sex with you anymore. You know what I'm saying? Because you acting foolish or not, you acting like a fucking idiot. You understand? So what is this? The four spades in the reverse. So again, this is the four spades in the reverse. Um, yeah, the four spades in the reverse, just like the four swords can be someone again that went through a moment where they did remove their self from someone because they had to support their self and their own energy. Like you could have been giving someone a fucking headache. You could have been giving someone stress. You understand? And they're just like, listen. I'm better than this. You know what the goddamn ice cream track, y'all. And then you got the two of clubs again. Y'all close my door. I'm recording. I'm so sorry, y'all. Oh, my Jesus. Oh, my Jesus. We only got three more cards. Ah, oh, I cannot. It's so loud. I'm sorry, y'all. Not that that's gonna make it any better. But this is this is someone that I feel like has contained themselves and has secluded themselves from someone. But it's like I don't I don't need to hide anymore. Like I've already made my mind up and it's like I'm not doing nothing but shorting myself by keeping myself away from life. You understand? So cancer definitely goes through these moments where they want to wall the world out just to get their mind together and regroup. So you could have gone through that. You got your star energy right now. And I feel like throughout this containment period, like you really have got your passion together and you might have got a new plan together. It just might have took you some time to do it. And it might have took you, you, I feel like you had to remove yourself so that you can re-energize yourself and allow people to make a fool of their fucking self because they were going to destroy their own motherfucking self. So it's just like you just allowed them to do it and you just stayed the fuck out the way. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever did that before? It's like this motherfucker is going to be self-destructive. Let me just move 
move myself out of the way because when laundry bridge fall on their ass, I don't want to be nowhere near them motherfuckers. But I ain't about to keep hiding no more because I got things to do. I got places to go. Listen, you got the tour clubs, then you got the, the, the railroad. So it's like... At the end of the day, you could have felt like you got railroaded. Like someone, I want to say someone did something that made you feel like an idiot. I want to say, Cassa, like I want to say you felt like a fool too. Because I feel like you wish that you would have realized who you got involved with before you got involved. Like this person is like a busybody. I want to say that this person was a busybody. And it's like, you ain't going to be fulfilled here. You understand? So it's like, you are moving on. You understand? Like you are deaf. This is a card of traveling. So this is like somebody knowing that there's other job opportunities out there. Because remember, we said earlier, listen, this was the tour clubs where it was like there was no fulfillment there. This is someone sitting down negotiating, trying to figure out like, can I work? Like if I leave where I'm at right now to come to you, you know what I'm saying? Would I be fulfilled here? No, I'm not going to be fulfilled here. So, you know what I'm saying? No, there's no consistency here. So, at the end of the day, I'm going to move on to see what's going on at the next destination. Do you understand? So, it's like, just, it, this is a card of knowing that there's something else better out there. And that you don't have to uh, seclude yourself. You don't have to settle. Like, I don't have to settle. There are other jobs out there. Like, if this job isn't fulfilling me, if they're not giving me the consistency that I need, life moves on. Life goes on. You know, have you ever cut yourself out of a job or a situation and you still follow those friends on Facebook that still work at that job and you see all the drama and shit still going on at that job? you like, oh my God, thank God I don't work there no more. Thank God. Like, everybody could, like, no one could have been getting a pay raise that year. Like, the boss could have been fucking a whole bunch of the other staff and it's like it's an investigation or like a whole bunch of people just got fired and locked up because there was a theft and you used to hang with those people and you do that. Like, and you're just like, oh shit, like, oh my god, these motherfuckers stupid. Look, these motherfuckers stupid. Listen, listen, I got out of there when the shit was hot. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got the fuck. You understand? So, like, this is someone that, because again, this is someone that does not stick around when this shit ain't hot. You understand? So, like, cancer could have got out of there in the nick of time because it wasn't nothing work you know what i'm saying like i might come back if you got something popping but other than that like if you ain't got something that i if it's not beneficial to me if you, you ain't consistently getting me like what well, fuck i'm gonna keep like the fuck out of here you understand listen this is what a lot of money card this is the lot of money card in the reverse. So, and then you got the enemy card here in the reverse. So, listen, you got the lot of money card here in the reverse and you got the um, enemy card. So, again, this is a card that you just feel like there's someone around you that does not deserve your energy. And that's why you've been containing your passion. You haven't been giving this person no sex. Like, I feel like whoever this person is, is um could be real sex driven with you and you know that that drives them crazy and if you remove the sex from them that like that might be your power um i really feel i feel like that's like your power with this person that and you just moving the fuck on you understand what i'm saying because it's like this person doesn't mean you know well this person is an enemy in your life I, this this person you should have looked into this person a little bit more because this person is a traitor. This is not someone that you can trust. Like, you know that there's life beyond this person. And that's why, listen, there's a lot of money on the table. And it's like God's trying to give you something. But they're not going to give this shit to you while this person is around. Do you understand? That's why you keep getting the two of clubs. The two of clubs is... God trying to tell you there's no fulfillment here. There's inconsistency. This person is going to take what you have and going to give it to someone else. Have faith in what I'm trying to show you. Like God is trying to show you something. Scrap this replan. Contain yourself. And it can even be like you still want to fuck this person. But you need to contain yourself. Because listen, I got the ace of clubs. I got something that's going to bring you a lot of wealth. Do you understand? This is the job that you really want. You feel me? Okay? But I can't bring this to you as long as you got this person around you. Because they're going to hurt you whatever you're going to hurt yourself. But I keep trying to carry this person with you. Cut this motherfucker out. Life moves on. And don't stop. That's the thing. And that's the thing, Karen. So I, I, that's the thing I want y'all to understand. 
Because sometimes it's water signs, Scorpios too. We will go in our shell and we will wall the world out. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because you already, like, in your mind, you already did that. Like, you could have still been working and everything, but you could have just been real quiet. You know how cases are. Y'all get real quiet on the motherfucker and motherfucker. You be like, Casey, you alright? Because you'll be at work and you just normally, you're just like... Cancers have very, very beautiful personalities, but you can tell when something's going on with a cancer, especially if you really know and you love a cancer. And it's like, nah, I'm not about to go on my back like I normally do. I just know I'm going to get this motherfucker out of my life because God got something for me. And God is just telling me to contain myself. And you really don't need the cards to tell you that you know it, but you definitely just got the clarification here. And that's all you need this shit for. And that's why, again, I want everyone, as we start to progress and grow forward, please use tarot for what it is. The purpose of it. God gives us these visionary tools to talk with him to clarify the decisions that you're making in your life. This is not a step-by-step -step rule book for what you should be doing in your life. This is for clarification after you've done what you and your soul know that you should have did. And then this is to clarify what God tell you you did the right thing. Pat yourself on the shoulder. Let's get to the next motherfucking thing. Let's get to this money, baby. Let's get to this money. Listen to me. Lot of money. Let's get to this money. You hear me, Cancer? And y'all know, Cancer, y'all some fly, sexy-ass motherfuckers. Get money, bitch. Y'all hit that like button. I'll see y'all in October, baby. Mwah.